Welcome to an experience powered by Pipe TV. Powered by Pipe TV. You are now watching Pipe TV. Welcome to another episode on Pipe TV. I'm your host, Suella Suella, a name so nice you have to say it twice. We have some amazing guests on here today. We have Debbie B. Jackson. Everybody knows Debbie B. Jackson right there. Hal Jackson's widow, but also an entrepreneur for all the youth and black women of today. We also have guests, David Shepard. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited just to get a little juice of what's going on with them. Can you tell us anything about um, what's going on with you, Debbie, today with the Youth Foundation? Right, the Youth Development Foundation. Well, uh, we've been in existence for way over five decades, and we've been awarding scholarships to young ladies. Those scholarships, prizes, and intercultural travel amount to more than $2.5 million. We're proud to be able to award scholarships to young ladies and to keep those scholarships coming. Awesome. Oh, wow. It's been a while since um, I actually was one of the Hal Jackson girls a long time ago. <laughs> I was on there when Taja Jimenez won. Taja Jimenez. Yes. Okay. Oh, my goodness. It's been such a while, long time. But it's mm -hmm. such a great inspiration to inspire other people young black women as myself today, I'm up there, but God bless, but to inspire them all to continue their education mm -hmm. and to let them know that no matter what, they can still, their dreams are still achievable. That's true. Taya Menes uh, was the ballet dancer. Uh, I was in the 80s. I don't remember exactly what year that was, uh, but she went on to dance. She became a principal dancer for the Dance Theater of Harlem, and now she's a director at the Dance Theater of Harlem. So she's doing really well. Yes, amazing, amazing. David, tell us a little bit more about your organization as well, well retired um, correction officer. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've, um, I'm a promoter of uh, different types of events, comedy shows, jazz shows, R&B shows. Uh, I've been a promoter for 40 something years now. Yes. Uh, DMS Productions and DMS Live Promotions are the names of my corporations. So uh, Debbie and I have been together, and we teamed up to put this show together, but we're going to talk more about the Youth Development Foundation yes. before we get into that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yes, the, and the, that's going to be held on November the 9th, am I correct? Yes, that's next correct. week. Next Thursday. week, that's right, right. Yes. yes. Amazing. I'm so excited for that event. Hopefully you'll be able to see and me gracing the building with my plus-size beauties. <laughs> um, Miss Full Figure USA be out there right. in Jersey, mm -hmm. um, one of the directors of the New York division as well mm -hmm. so I do believe in empowering and inspiring and uplifting our community that's where I know you're from Corinne right yes yes okay. yes you do <laughs> I'm still a mover and a shaker in oh, this yes, plus size are. industry yes, here are. God yes, bless and I'm Corinne grateful fashion. to be a part mm -hmm. a part of okay. such a wonderful organization God put people in places for different reasons that's correct yeah, so right. I'm just grateful for that um so just um, give us a little a feedback about how you started when you started with WBLS? Okay, well, I started with, I started with BLS because I was um, Hal's wife, mm -hmm. and what he would do is he would have me on the air. Well, actually, what we would do is give out um, prizes, prizes. Mm -hmm. and so he told me to write down the names. So I'd go in every Sunday, and I was writing down the names, and then one day he said to me, "You announce the names." I said, mm -hmm. "Okay." And that's how my um, broadcast career started. Oh, wow. That's Being in amazing. the right place at the right time. Yes. Actually, actually. But um, with Talented Teens, I started in 1981 mm -hmm. with them. Um, and that year, the competition was held in New York at the Waldorf Astoria. And on that, that show was Shalimar. Howard Hewitt. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and our last competition was held in Bermuda. And uh, there we had the Ladies of Sky. So it's like a full circle for me. This, yes, um, isn't the ladies of Sky coming out show, yes. to show on the ninth? That right. is so exciting. And Melissa Morgan is going to be there, and she's a former talented team. And so is Jeff Red, who's been a friend forever. Awesome, <laughs> and awesome. Our is the, uh, our headline. Is headline. Right, and then we have the Bells 2.0. Right. Oh. They're a husband and wife team. 
and they do duets like Ashford and Simpson and um, Jamie and Marvin. Right, and you know Peaches and Herb. So it's gonna be good. Oh, you showing your age over here, Tammy and Marvin? Okay, <laughs> wait a minute. I love those. I love those music uh, of today. They don't make music like that. I used to listen to my mother. Play. Ah! <laughs> they don't make yeah, music right. like that anymore. <laughs> I know they don't. So I'm just so, David, so just share a little bit more light on your organization and your company um, producing and music. Well, uh, it's, it's, not a, it's not a whole lot, but I, I just put together, well, the main thing is, is that I bring black talent to communities, and that's important. Uh, comedy shows, I started out with uh, parties from back in the day, Leviticus, San Remo's, uh, Justine's, Pegasus, you know all those spots. So uh, um, then I graduated to doing comedy shows. And that started at the same time Def Jam started. So what really took off for me is my first show, I had Hamburger as the host. And he had been on Def Jam two months before my show. So people wanted to see him live. So that was sort of like a, a commercial for my, my events. And once that, that came, up, came about, we just blew up. And for 30 years, I know all the comedians that started. Tracy Morgan, Mike Epps, uh, J.B. Smooth, um, Talent. I remember when Talent stopped working a regular job. He said to me, he said, Dave, I'm going to do this comedy thing full time. I said, what do you mean? He says, uh, I have uh, the palace in my neighborhood. I have Indigo Blues downtown. I have the Boston Comedy Club down in Met Lower Manhattan. And um, uh, another club, I can't think of the name in Queens. He says, I'm making so much money. Now he's, you know, he's a major comedian in the business. So I see my man, Mike Epps and Dio Hughley, all friends of those guys from back in the day. Awesome, yeah. awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you. Yeah. Well, we're going to come right back to Pipe TV with some more juicy questions for. Debbie B. Jackson and David Shepard. Stay tuned. Welcome back to Pipe TV. I'm your host, Suella Suella, a name so nice you have to say it twice. I am here with Debbie B. Jackson and David Shepard. Welcome back, everybody. Okay, so I just want to know, what made y'all be a duo right now? What's going on? What's the collab about? What's the collab about? Well, considering that we, we work together and we uh, do other things together, we uh, decided that the kitty needs to be filled up with some more money so she can get out more scholarships. So we just sat in the kitchen and started thinking about people we can put on the show. And Howard Hewitt was the first, Hewitt was the first person we thought about. Then we thought about a talented team, which is... Uh, Melissa Morgan. Melissa Morgan. Then we thought about the Ladies of Sky, since we're personal friends with them, and that would be a good unit. And Jeff Red has always been around, so he's a, he's a powerhouse. He's a Grammy winner. And then the Bells 2.0, they're a local group, husband and wife, and they sing like nobody's in. They can really do it up. So we just got everybody together, and. And everybody was able to uh, perform that day, which is free for everybody, uh, which is November the 9th, next week, Thursday. Tickets are still on sale. All right. Well, I'm excited. I can't wait. Y'all better watch out. You might say, see Miss Full Figure in the building, okay? All right. <laughs> All right. Well, you know, Debbie, just give us a little bit more feedback about the organization and actually what, what are we really raising money for? Okay. The young ladies, well, uh, let's go back. With talented teens, some of the people who've come through talented teens include Taraji P. Henson. I was reading her book, and in it, she says, I was a Hal Jackson talented teen. I said, oh, no, another one. Okay. Um, Cheryl Lee Ralph, uh, Jada Pinkett Smith, uh, those were the actresses. Alice's work, Alice's well, the, 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 the singers include like Evelyn Champagne King, Allison Williams, Melissa Morgan, Cece Peniston. Uh, then, of course, Ty Jimenez, you know, who's the dancer. Um, we have a, a judge here in New York, um, uh, Tanya Kennedy. She's a Supreme Court judge. Mm -hmm. And then we have uh, Dr. Susan Johnson Cook, who's an ambassador um, appointed by the o Obama administration. So they 
come from, they, they went on to do great things. And like I said, uh, the competition started in the early 70s. Uh, it was a talent competition at that time. So the person with, who was most talented won. And we were giving scholarships and trips. We would take the winner to, they've been to London, to Paris, to Ghana, to Senegal, to South Africa, um, to the Caribbean. Um, and of course, we would help them with their education. Now, we stopped the competition in 2010, and that's when we partnered with Black Women for Black Girls. And we would get five young ladies, they would fill out an application, and they would be screened, and then those young ladies would be given a college shower, which we coined, as opposed to a baby shower. And uh, we would help them with their, their dorm room for college. After they finished their first semester, they would tr um, send their transcript to us, and uh, as long as they maintain a 3.0 or better, we'd send $1,000 directly to their college. And we've been doing that for a minimum of five young ladies for the last 10 to 12 years. And we want to keep doing that. Um, the corpus are getting low, so we said, okay, we're going to do this fundraising concert and bring all of our friends together to help us. And that's what we're doing. Awesome, awesome. I'm excited. I can't wait. <laughs> Listen, what does a college shower sound like? Oh, I would love to have experienced that. Yeah. What does that entail? Well, what we would do is have them fill out a registry okay. instead of a baby registry. It was a college registry. And we would get them comforters and pillows and uh, sheets and different things, you know, that they would need in their in their in dorm, dorm room. And um, uh, we would, it, it was, the, like I said, the Black Women for Black Girls, and either we would pay for all of the things that they put on their list, or we would get our network of friends. And there was always five, and we'd have big six-foot um, tables out uh, for them, full of, of gifts, which were... Um, wrapped so they didn't get to see the gifts until they got home Aww. and it would be them with their family and friends and we'd always have somebody that would come and give inspirational um, talks you know to them it was really nice it's it's something that I really look forward to it sounds like it's a wonderful experience just so I could just imagine opening up all those um, great things to be starting out on my own mm -hmm. into this new world today I'm so excited mm -hmm. David when you decided to do this, um, well, work with Debbie for all these years, um, what was your biggest um, inspiration to do so? Well, um, being that her background from radio uh, helped out a lot because her and Hal produced a lot of shows for these young ladies. Yes, they did. And so she knew the intricacy of putting things together, and I had the experience myself for 40 years in the business because I gave shows, jazz shows, r &B. In fact... How I met Debbie mm -hmm. was through Vaughn Harper. Right. Yes, I gave a show yeah, at the dugout here. in in uh, in the Bronx. Vaughn came to my show, and he said, "Dave, I want you to work with me." I said, "What do you mean?" I said, "I want you to bring this show to Harlem, a place called Mist on 116th Street." Mm -hmm. I said, "Okay." Uh -huh. I said, "Well, let me see the place." So I went to see the place. I put the show together. Vaughn's wife and <laughs> Debbie Sandra came Harper. to the show. Sandra came to the show. And they introduced me prior to that, but I didn't know she was Debbie B from WBLS. So I'm not going to tell the other part of that show, that no, you story. Should, you should, you should. But <laughs> when you meet people who are in the light, celebrities, personalities, they're a little bit different from just the average person because people are always coming at them. So when I met her, I didn't know who she was. So she was very polite, very uh, nice, sweet. In fact, I was taking pictures of the band. And she just walked over to me with a big smile and said, why don't you get in the picture? And I looked at her and said, okay. I, I, I was mesmerized. <laughs> so I got in the picture. She took the picture. Towards the end of the evening, I walked into this corridor, and I tripped a little bit. And she said, are you falling for me? I said, that's opened that up for me, for me to just say what I wanted to say. <laughs> I said, well, maybe I am. So, you know, we started talking. It was very comfortable, very smooth. She gave me her, B her BLS card. I gave her my card, and the rest is history. Ten wow. years later, here we, we are. We've been together ten years. Wow. What an amazing story. Oh, my gosh. I'm glad and, that we were able. And it was on Valentine's Day. Yes. 
The show was on Valentine's Day. That February yeah. month, two, I tell you. A lot of things happen in the month of February. <laughs> oh my goodness, I was so that's a wonderful story. Thank you for sharing that. I yeah, appreciate I that on Pike TV. <laughs> I, <was gonna> that <laughs> <up>. <laughs> I appreciate oh, that. Boy. You know, so can you give us a little bit more information about what's going on on November the 9th? And give us the deeds so that we can have everyone come out and support this wonderful um, found um, fundraiser and a lot of things to just uplift and inspire our black community today. Sure, it's uh, it's November the 9th and it's at Bergen Pack. Uh, you could go to youthdevelopmentfoundation.org to make a donation or you can go to bergenpack.org to purchase the tickets. The tickets are $45 to $85. We also are having a VIP reception, and that's happening uh, before the, the, I was going to say competition, before the concert. Uh, and six those tickets are at uh, are $125, and that's going to be at 6 o'clock. And um, the people on the show are... Howard Hewitt. Yay! Ladies of Sky. Mm. <laughs> Jeff Red And Melissa Morgan, along with the Bells 2.0. Right, it's one heck of a show. I can't <laughs> wait. All these wonderful individuals that are just bringing more awareness to what we are trying to do. Everyone come out and support um, Miss Debbie B. Jackson's um, foundation and support the youth because that's, that's what this is all about, helping them and motivate them to continue their dreams and their goals. This is our segment at Pike TV. I, I'm your host, Suella Suella. A name so nice, you have to say it twice. Have a great evening. <laughs>